Hey there, this is K4A Knowledge for All educational videos and tutorials. We are continuing with learning how to sketch in Scratch. And in this video today we are going to learn how to group or ungroup parts of the sprite in Scratch. Again, we are starting with Orange Cat default in Scratch. And I will click on Costumes to see this sprite and editor for it. I have select tool selected and for example I want to change something on cat's eye or nose. For example I want to delete cat's nose or cat's mouth or cat's eye or maybe to add one more eye like to have a three-eyed cat. And the first thing which I would do would click on it but you can see that I can move it left and right that's cool we have learned that but I want to click on the nose I click on it nothing happens I want to click on the eye maybe no mouth no it's still one big selection why is that that is because this cat head is one group it's one collection of smaller parts group means lots of different smaller parts are grouped together in one bigger part you can call it again a part but it's one bigger thing so you can see in first row there is a button which says ungroup and when I select for example the right head right arm sorry that button is not available so this is not a group it's it only has one part left arm same tail it has some parts because this ungroup button is available this is also a group so I will put groups on my left and parts which are not groups on my right. So these parts on the left part of my screen are groups and these on the right are not. And I hope that's easy to understand from just watching these parts. This is only one leg with orange color, this is only one arm with orange color, one arm and so on. So there are not any other parts in it. For example, it, if it had a paw of fingers, nails as other parts, and if they were all grouped together, it would be a group. And this part on the left, the head, it has what? It has one eye, second eye, one nose, one smiley mouth, these, uh, how do you call, call them, uh, and so on. So lots of parts. So when I click on this ungroup, what will happen? I will open that group and now when I go over the parts, I can select them. So now I can select the eye, I can select the right eye, the nose, the smile, these hairs and the whole head like this. So now I can select the nose, click on delete which we have learned before and the cat has no nose here. I can now select the eye, copy, paste it, edit and now I have three eyed monster and I don't like this smile I will select it delete it yeah this looks like monster yeah I like it this way better so we have ungrouped the cat's head added some changes and this looks completely different. We have created something completely different. 
and as you can see even if I select this eye I will move it to the side to show it better it says again ungroup so we have someone someone who created this cat created small parts then one group for this eye then added one more eye head and so on and another group so you can create groups in a group so if I want for example to change this black eye to delete it I would have to ungroup this again then click on it and delete it and I can now have yeah something like this this is not this looks crazy anyway uh, the whole idea here is that you can ungroup complex parts which have which have more parts in it like complex groups which have more parts in it and then change those smaller parts we have shown that on the head let's now check the tail when I click on the tail I have this ungroup button I will click on the ungroup button and now I can see actually that only this color is the second part okay same with this leg probably the color white is another part ungroup yeah so someone who created this leg created first probably this orange part then this white part then selected them together and then clicked on group that's how you make group select more than one part click on the group and now you have more than one part together and you can create groups of whatever you like so for example I can use these parts here to make something really funny or crazy or I don't know what this represents I can move this part here this one here select them all together and then click on this group and now because I have grouped them together you can see that all three of those move together same with this cat's head because I have ungrouped it, it's now made of parts, so I would have to select all of them, group them to make one big head again. This can be a little bit confusing again until you try it on your own, but this is very very powerful and you will use it a lot. I will delete this sprite and maybe choose another one just to show you better where it's used and how it's used uh, for example I think uh, yeah tree would be great I think it's separated so select this green tree select costumes tab yeah and as you can see this tree is not grouped how can I see that because when I go with my mouse over its parts every part is selectable i can select this one this one this one and so on so for example if i want to move this one out of the place i can do that and so on so it's not complete group I will undo this to go back to the start and for example for some reason this tree looks good for my game but I need lots of those I need like a forest one big forest on my screen I can go to choose a sprite then click on another tree and so on so I can copy paste them but that would be a problem very fast for example because if I copy paste this tree like 10 times or 15 times 
this will become very messy, very complex. Uh, lots of objects here, lots of sprites, and every sprite is unique. I don't need that. I will delete that, so I want them all on one big sprite. And we have learned that before. I can select this, copy, paste, and that's cool. This is now second tree. But the problem here is now that I will select those very, very hard. It's like sometimes I will select them complete, sometimes not, sometimes they will overlap and so on. So what is the easier solution? First of all, I will undo this. Undo it again to have only one tree on the screen. Yeah. Select my illustration. Click on this group button. And now when I click on one image, it moves all of it this brown part and all of these green parts so now when i copy paste i can select them much much easier so when i want to make changes like this and you can see how fast i can do them and you can see how fast i select them because they are group And if I didn't make them a group, it would be much, much harder because they have lots of parts. And again, same as with cat, I can make group out of this one tree, but I can also select all of them. Every tree now is one group. So this is one group, this is one group, this is one group. This is one group and this is one group, but I can select all of them and make one big group. So now, wherever I click here, wherever in this space, I have selected all of them. And I can now make changes on my screen very, very fast. And that's a great tool. You will use it a lot again for very complex animations, games and so on where you, where you want to create something very complex with lots of details and so on. And again, it's easy to ungroup, just click on it. So we have now one big group, ungroup. Now they're all trees. If I want to change this tree to delete some leaves of it, ungroup it delete parts of it so it looks different this one here ungroup delete and so on so you can see how it's easy to make changes and make your game and illustration unique that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in next one bye for now